Specifically, we mean to discuss true conchs, though even that isn't black and white. This is one of those animal groups that has recently undergone taxonomic revision, and may go through it again in the near future as more information becomes available. This episode will focus on the Strombidae family, though it should be mentioned that sometimes the true conchs moniker is reserved for a single genus of this family. There are currently around 60 classified true conch species, but as with any animal classification, this is subject to change with new data. True conchs live in tropical to subtropical waters. They're most commonly found in shallow water on sandy, muddy, rocky, or grassy bottoms. Places like reefs and even mangroves are excellent conch habitats. Some conchs live deeper than 164 feet below the surface, though most don't exceed even half that depth. In size, conchs range from 2 to more than 15 inches in shell length, though males are often smaller than females. They come in a variety of shell shapes, some with protrusions, others more smooth, but they all have a spiral-like whorl on the top of their cone-shaped shells. Their eyes are complex, and their irises can appear in bright colors. These snails have a specialized sickle-shaped operculum, which can be used like a claw. In snails, the operculum acts as a lid to the shell's opening. Not all snails have an operculum, but in true conchs, the operculum may be used for fighting and defense. It can also be used to fend off predators which include fish, crabs, and other mollusks. Humans hunt conchs as well. People eat their meat and use their shells for various purposes, like jewelry, instruments, and net weights. These invertebrates may also use their operculum to move around, literally jumping through the substrate on this hard appendage. Conchs are mostly herbivorous animals, eating algae and plankton. As they eat, they'll consume sand, which can be filled with detritus and adds to the conch's diet. The larger species, like the queen conch, may live to be more than 25 years old in the wild, though others develop more quickly and have shorter lifespans. True conchs reproduce sexually with internal fertilization. Their eggs are laid in tangled, gelatinous masses, which later hatch as planktonic larvae. In the larger species, like the previously mentioned queen, it can take four years for the animals to reach adulthood. However, smaller species may take less time. For more facts on conchs, check out the links in the description. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.